What's going on everyone? Vince the Longineer here. Really excited. We just got some snow about two to three inches in the paved areas, four to six when you measure over in the grass areas. But I'm also really excited to share this with you. This is the Snow Joe SJ617E electric snow thrower. And today we're gonna review it. So stay tuned. All right, so this is the Snow Joe SJ617E single stage snow thrower. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you're interested in buying one of these. Snow Joe was kind enough to send this to me for free in exchange for a video like this. It is a 12 amp unit and it's 18 inches wide and it's meant to clear snow up to eight inches thick. Some more of the light fluffier snow. Um, so this is more light to medium duty type of snow, not really meant for like the heavy duty, thick, slushy, heavy snow. Um, and so more general use, light use, and today we're gonna unbox it. It's actually snowing outside, so uh, we'll unbox it, we'll put it together, and then we'll test it out, and I'll give you a little bit of before and after uh, to show you how it performs and then give you my thoughts on it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into the unboxing. So here we go. First thing out of the box is the snowshoe. Put that together shortly. That goes like that. And there's some hardware that goes with it to, to, to clamp these together. Put that aside for now. And then we've got some handle pieces. And then we have the handle with the cord that's then attached to the body. We'll take that out in a moment. This right here is the rod that's going to control the, uh, the direction that we're throwing the snow. That'll probably be installed last. And let's try to take this out. Here's some, uh, some of the hardware to put all the handle pieces together. And then the main unit. Put this down on the ground and we'll put it all together. All right, so we have everything set up here. Everything's laid out. I removed all the packaging from everything. There were some... Uh, Foam pads on here, I pulled those off. Everything else was covered in bubble wrap. Took all that off. There is a plastic uh, piece here that is garbage that's on the, uh, that is on the plug here. We don't need that. That can go in the garbage. And uh, one thing I do want to point out is that there are two carriage bolt sizes. So the longer bolts are meant for the handle while the shorter bolts, and I'll show you the difference there. You know, they are shorter. The shorter bolts go for the chute. So let's put the chute together and uh, then we'll put that aside. We'll, we'll stick that on last. We'll come and assemble the handle here real quick and then we'll finish this up. So let's put these guys inside here like so. They go from the inside. That's where the square is to receive that square side of the um, carriage bolt right there. So those will go like so. And we can slip this over top. There we go. Like that. And the other one in there, like so. And you can tighten that up with the wing nuts. And we'll set that aside for later. This little tiny screw goes with the deflection chute. That will be used to secure this to the body of the thrower. Now onto the handle assembly. What I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna start from the top part of the handle here, working my way down, and then I'll take this whole assembly and I'll mount it to the brackets on the body of the thrower here. All right, so this handle is basically a three-piece assembly. You've got the upper end, the middle end, and the slower end. 
Uh, one thing to note about the middle end is that this uh, little little piece right here is where the shaft is going to fit through, right? And that's going to help control the direction you're throwing the snow. This side is up, right, when we're assembling this. So that, just make sure that's up. And then we can go and uh, we can put this all together. Top piece. And then we have some uh, snap points for the cable to go through. So we're just gonna snap that in place there and in place there, perfect. And then uh, we're gonna just put this on the main body here. And then they have these uh, sort of like J hooks Line that up. And that's going to go in like that and hold that in place. And this one's going to come in like this. There we go. Put that in place. And then you can come in with the wing nuts here and secure those. Now, we're gonna attach the rod. And there's two parts to this. There's the bottom part here. Uh, this is gonna be attached to the machine, basically with this cotter pin here. So let's take that cotter pin out. That pulls right out. And you're gonna line this up so that the hole lines up with the hole that you just pulled the cotter pin out of. And you'll put that right back in. Boom. And then the second piece, you'll pass through this hole right here and slide it in. You may need to loosen this piece right here because that's gonna be the screw that allows you to piece these two together. So we'll take that out and then we'll line up the hole and then just drive the screw back into it. Should line up and go all the way through. And then with a the screwdriver, just make sure everything else is tight. There you go, that's good. Very good. Now we're gonna put the chute on. Now the chute, has notches that are designed to fit in a certain way here. So we'll try and line this up. There's usually, there's a lock here, right? So line that up with the arrow and that fits in there nicely. And then you just twist it. And there's a hole right down here. You can see that where the hole lines up with the machine. And that is where we're gonna put that screw to lock in place. So make sure that's all lined up. And then with a Phillips head screwdriver, just screw that in place. That's not going anywhere. Really easy to do. Only a couple minutes to set up and you're ready to go. And then here we go. This is Rotate this guy to turn the chute that way. Rotate to go the other way. And we're pretty much ready to plug this in and start throwing some snow. All right, so it's pretty much stopped snowing at this point. Uh, it's around 7 o'clock in the morning. Sun's just coming up. And uh, 
I think we're ready to, to see what this Snowjo can do. So uh, first, let's take a quick measurement here. Got my little measuring tool. Let's come down here and let's see what we got. Uh, we're on about, what was that? Two and a half, three inches, two and a half inches. So light snow should be relatively fluffy. It's relatively fresh. Um, it should be really, uh, it should make for quick work for this little guy. So let's see what it can do. So there are a few reasons why I like this snow thrower. One, it's lightweight, compact, and easy to store. As you can see here, my garage is a mess and it's fully loaded. This folds up nicely and can be stored away either in the garage or on a shelf. The second thing is obvious that it doesn't need any gas and there's no oil. So it's, it's, it's virtually maintenance free, right? Yeah, sure. Occasionally you'll get a jam, you know, of snow or something in the chute and you got to clear that out. That's like, you know, all, all snow blowers have that issue. You got to do that. Uh, but here you're just, you're just plugging it in and you're going. And the third thing is that it's inexpensive at only $139 if you were to buy it directly from Snowjo at the time this video was uploaded. All right, well, the, the one con is that, you know, it's it's a corded model. It's got a power cord to it. You're tethered to it, right? Uh, you've got to continuously pull the power cord with you. However, you know, I live on a cul-de-sac and I don't have much sidewalk. I've only got about, you know, 20 or 30 feet of sidewalk in the front of my house. Um, it's mostly just driveway and the small little sidewalk up to my front door. It's really compact and, and kept in one area and I can easily manage that with the extension cord I have. If you were working further away from a power source, Snowjo does have battery options in multiple sizes and voltages. If you were to select something similar to this in its battery powered counterpart, you'd expect to pay around $360 with the battery, which is more than two and a half times the cost of the corded model. So this right here behind me was about a two car deep driveway. I do have a four car driveway, but this right here that I just cleared out in about six minutes was for two cars deep. So just to give you an idea of how much you can clear in a short amount of time, only six minutes, which I think is pretty good. And I was also throwing the snow, everything was being thrown in this direction and then I was going back over it. So it was almost like each, every pass was just a little harder uh, because there was just more snow thrown in that direction. So it had to you know, work a little bit harder to pick up that snow. Um, but otherwise it was, uh, it was really good. It worked well and it cleared things up pretty quickly. Again, six minutes for this, not bad at all. And there you have it. Here's a link to a few videos you might be interested in. Make sure you go check them out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe and thank you for joining.